Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for AwesomeCast.net on this May 1st, 2015, and we're well into yet another month. Uh, and I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm actually at the Lifestyle Medicine Conference today, so uh, please follow me and uh, Sinclair Life on Twitter if you're catching this on the Friday. Uh, we'll be talking about a lot of uh, more medical and uh, uh, the really progressive medical kind of stuff uh, on those accounts, and, and please join me if uh, you're at all interested in some of that. And we do talk, do talk about medical technology every once in a while on Awesome Cast, so I hope uh, I hope you guys dig that. Please check out our friends, of course, boldpittsburgh.com and sliceonbroadway.com, big supporters of all the shows here on the Sorgatron Media Network. Today I want to talk about secret. Shh, I got a secret. I got a secret. Um, you probably shouldn't have a secret app. Um... <laughs> Uh, of course, this came across my wire through Wired.com uh, in, a, in a post uh, late on uh, Wednesday night, actually. So I uh, we're a little delayed on things here. But uh, the biggest uh, thing is uh, their headline, Secret Shuts Down Because Anonymity Makes People Mean. And we talked about it, and even to the point on Sorgatron Media on our YouTube channel, you can check out our, our Yik Yak eulogy because it's been delisted from the Google Play Store. And, and, we, and have, we've seen activity just kind of shut down. We, that's pretty much, we think, the end of Yik Yak unless they turn it into something else. Uh, but this is uh, uh, David uh, Bitlow, Bitlow, B-Y-T-T-O-W, um, has uh, talked about... Um, in his quotes, I believe an honest, open communication and creative expression and anonymity is a great device to achieve it, but it's the, also the ultimate double-edged sword, which must be wielded with great respect and care. Also, to, according to Wired, um, they, you know, it, it, it doesn't address the bullying, uh, you know, explicitly, but the app eventually became, what it eventually became is not what they envisioned when it started, and it became something that Silicon Valley ended up uh, posting a lot of uh, uh, behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, under the curtain kind of stuff that probably shouldn't have been out there in a lot of cases. A lot of companies would not have liked that, you know. And, and again, you know, you see that on the account. People just uh, flailing out. Hey, you see that on YouTube comments and Google's been trying to battle that for the last couple of years. So what does this mean for anonymity apps? Uh, in this case, they're actually returning a good portion of their uh, $35 million, I think is the figure here, in, in funding that they achieved. There's even a, a message from somebody from the company that says, uh, so-and-so has sold his Ferrari. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting to see uh, uh, what's happening with anonymity and seeing them kind of fall off. And, and how do you monetize something like this where you don't even know who your audience is, technically, right? Versus a Facebook, Twitter, etc. And hell, Twitter has been having problems as we've been seeing in the news the last few days. What do you think? Is anonymity dead? Well, it's not dead. It's just going to find a different place to go that doesn't have as good a funding as secret, probably, is my opinion. Let me know what you think at AwesomeCast on Twitter or in response to this video or audio, wherever you might find it on the interwebs, including YouTube, AwesomeCast.net, on Facebook as well. Please follow us on all the things. Subscribe to it. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Get it awesome. We're getting This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.